I'm Karen Collins. I'm talking today with Dr. Stephen Heimsfield, who's Executive Director of the Pennington Biomedical Research Center at Louisiana State University and an internationally renowned expert in the area of obesity and weight management. Lesson learned filming this video. I didn't have it framed quite right because Dr. Heimsfield was talking to someone a little bit shorter than I am, quite a bit shorter than I am, as I was setting up the camera. So I apologize that the video framing is a little off, but Dr. Huntsfield had such valuable information to offer that I wanted to share this video with you anyway. Come back another time and I'll try and do better in my next Smart Bites interview. So this is a real treasure to get a chance to talk with somebody who's really an expert in the field. And I hate to tell you, but one of the things he's gonna to talk to you about is that rule that you heard if you just cut um, enough calories to add up to 3,500 calories. Each 3,500 you cut equals a pound of weight loss. It's not true. So, you know, they have to lay it out for us. The general thing that so many people hear that's kind of their optimistic advice is each basically 100, if you cut 140 calories a day, like maybe cut out one soda a day yes. or the equivalent of a couple cookies or something, you'd lose 15 pounds a year. That's right. Now, unfortunately, the reality is you lose a lot less than that because that rule, which was developed 50 years ago, uh, has largely been proven inaccurate. Yeah, I, I think today in the presentation I just heard you giving, you said probably it's about half that. From it's the about half that. No matter which modern equation you use, it comes out roughly half. So instead of being 15 pounds, it's more like 7 or 8 pounds which is still not inconsequential, but uh, the person who lose seven or eight pounds and thinks they're going to lose 15 will be very disappointed. Well, and I think that's one of the, it, it's, a, it's bad news for your expectations, but I think it's also a good message if you twist it around a little, because for people who think they're going to lose 15, um, you know, when they're not losing that, they can feel like a failure, like, what am I doing wrong? And the answer is, you're not off base, no. that's actually, right what we would expect in a bottle. That's right? exactly right. That's what we'd expect. And that's why it's so important to understand that the 3,500 calorie rule is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And the other piece that's not part of your research, but fitting it in the big picture, mm -hmm. is to remember that even though you're not losing as much as you're expecting, we now know that you don't have to lose mammoth amounts of weight to have that weight loss matter that even if what you end up losing at that year from that change is seven or eight pounds, that, that's still adding up to have an effect. And I think there are many of us, including me, who would be happy to lose seven or eight pounds and we would be a lot healthier for it. Mm -hmm. So, not to be discouraged. That's right. And how hard is that to swap out one soda for a bottle of water, for example? It sounds easy. I know it's easier said than done because often people will compensate, need something else in this place, but you have to stick to it.